Okay, friend, we got to talk about your people and how to get them added to your training account, right? Here we go. So we're going to jump down to account and go to manage users. And from here, I'll click on add teammate right over here. And now I can add in my new employees information. I'll need to decide which permission level to give her and I'm going to go ahead and just keep her as a general user. Next, I get to decide when I want to send this invite out. I can set it out right now. I can set it out at a later time that I choose, or I can actually schedule it for a specific date in the future, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to pop over to the advanced tab. This is where I can assign Bo to the group or groups that she needs to be part of. So I'm going to go ahead and assign her to customer support specialist. Here we go. And I can also assign her to her direct report. In this case, that's Ben. Now, for those of you who have seasonal or contract workers, you can use the schedule automatic archive to set an expiration date for their account. That's right. That means on that specific day that you choose, their account will automatically archive itself. You don't have to do it. Yay. The last checkbox here is turned on by default, and this simply allows their profile to show up in your company directory. When you're all done with the profile, go ahead and click add. Once the invitation is sent, your employee will get it in their email inbox. They'll have a little button they can click on to complete their profile and gain access to their training account. Now here's a pro tip for your people. Start by inviting the people who are going to be helping you to document your most needed content first. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now, if you really want to master Trainial, check out Trainial University in the link below.